there is no evidence to suggest that the defendant did as my learned friend suggests. However, in terms of having the opportunity to in terms of having the opportunity to carry out the alleged tampering, there is one possibility. Oh, oh. Good, good gracious. Explain yourself, counsel. Okay, that's good. Because, yeah, no, I've definitely seen some ring lights, too, and that would, that would be my, my worry, too, that it's, it's too blaring. Three color temps, four brightness levels. Can you adjust this on your computer or through a remote, or do you have to do it manually in the back? <laughs> yes, there is. It seems my learned Nipponese friend has no intention of running from this deceit. Big B before, thanks for the follow, dude. Welcome to the community, man. I appreciate it. Deceit. Enjoy the five follower emotes I have for this channel. Which one are you gonna use first? <laughs> it has a little switchy thing on the USB cable. Oh, dude, nice, right on, man. So, um, any uh, any projections of uh, when the stream streams are coming back? Just curious. Not sure if you have a date yet. I'm sure everyone still remembers clearly the recess that we were forced to take. Yep, exactly. As a result of the smoke grenade fired by the witness currently in the stand, Miss Gina Lestrade. What, what is going on? Be careful, Mr. Narahodo! Cover your face! Bailiff, don't let the accused escape. Secure the omnibus. I hereby call in an emergency recess. Bailiff, ensure the defendant is in custody and clear the courtroom. Ushi ha? Huh? Oh, hey, Mr. Sam K. Blind. Let's go. Let's go, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Thanks again for checking out the stream and for following the channel. I appreciate it, man. Oh, not stream again. I'm a booty hole model now. Oh, dude, nice. Yo, dude, hook me up with that OnlyFans link whenever you got it. Huh? Hook me up with that discount, bruh. <laughs> the courtroom was filled with smoke, and everyone was thrown into confusion. All of us were made to leave this chamber. In that brief interval, under the veil of smoke, and in all the chaos, it could have been possible to steal inside the omnibus. Are you wise? <laughs> what are you trying to pull? You, you, you rotten, feckless gouger! Feckless gouger? Or gouger? Gouger? You're supposed to be defending me! Tis a wicked plot! Just a plot to undermine me, so it is. <sighs> Objection! Whatever you think this is, it changes nothing. The facts are the same. <laughs> After this courtroom was evacuated earlier as a result of the smoke grenade, a number of inconsistencies materialized in relation to the omnibus. Inconsistencies such as... To start with, the storage compartment underneath the rear passenger seat. With a name like Lestrade, I bet she did it, actually. 
I don't know. Just wanted to say that. Luis, welcome back to the stream, dude. Happy New Year, bro. Thanks for tuning in, man. How you doing tonight, bro? <laughs> I mean, yo, dude, she she brought a fucking smoke grenade gun into the courtroom. I mean, yo, dude, you would be right. Well, we're uh, we're very close now, but I don't want to say it's happening on X day and then bullshit does, but it in invariably does. Yeah, not for sure, for sure. But hey, man, I'm excited for your return, dude. Hey, happy new year. Fuck yeah, Luis. Good to see you, man. Thanks for still coming out to support the stream and the channel, dude. It means a lot. You too, Cheese. Especially because you're on the other side of the fucking world, man. Anyone that can hear my voice, thanks for coming out to support the Ace Attorney streams. Much, much appreciated. When the police investigated the omnibus, this compartment was full of the driver's items. Secondly, we have the smear of blood on the edge of the skylight. I think we're nearing the end of case number three, Louise, but I'm not quite sure. This one's been definitely going on for a little bit. Secondly, we have the smear of blood on the edge of the skylight. As I have said, that was not present at the start of the trial this morning. Hmm. Unfortunately, Lord Van Zeex, no one is able to corroborate your claims. Hmm. That's true. When the omnibus was first wheeled out, both the storage compartment and the skylight were shut. Accordingly, I'm afraid to say, we cannot establish with any certainty if this evidence is the result of tampering or not. Indeed, my lord. No doubt there was not a single person who saw fit to verify such things. What do you think? Sorry? About the omnibus. Is there anything else unusual about the omnibus? I'm gonna say I have an inkling, but I'm not sure, but I'm gonna say I have an inkling. Here's Luis. Thank you, sir. Uh, means a lot to hear that you're keen. Yeah, man. I know I haven't really popped in your streams all too often. I've mainly just lurked, but dude, you've been supporting for quite some time, dude, so it means a lot. My lord. Yes, counsel. There is one further inconsistency. A mark that surely could not have been present at the start of the trial. What? What? What in the devil's name are you going to say now? If, if, if you dare, if you dare to betray me, you little... Silence, McGilded. What did he say? If, if you dare, if you dare to betray me, you little maggot, you'd better start watching your back. Silence, McGilded. The court awaits the defense's clarification. <sighs> this trial keeps swinging one way and then the other. I. I have no idea what's the truth and what's deception. What am I supposed to believe here? I shall have to ask you to elaborate, Counsel. Where exactly is this alleged mark that you claim appeared at some point during the trial? Okay, 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 okay. Where exactly is this alleged mark that you claim appeared at some point during the trial? I'm gonna save, but dude, it's the blood stain, dude. It's gotta be. There's no other mark. <laughs> Just in case, <laughs> I'm gonna save. Oh no, I can't. Oh shit. It's gotta be this, though. Got it! I... I... 
I think it must be this mark here. If you mean the mark of sweat around your collar, that has certainly gained prominence over the course of proceedings. would appear you are clutching at straws in desperation, Council. As evidenced by your abundant perspiration. It, it's a cold sweat, my lord. Ah, oh, dude, I gotta reload. Shit! Hey man, gotta get your fat fodder from somewhere, all G. So what happened in this case? Dude, a lot. So I'm defending, I'm defending a guy named Magnus McGilded. And we're trying to figure out who murdered this guy right here. Bryce fired Mason. For the first half of the case, we were pretty much on this dude's side. But as more evidence came to light, and certainly at a certain point, um, the court had to the court had to adjourn and take a recess because Magnus McGilded's little little companion right here, Gina Lestrade, she shot a smoke grenade in the courtroom, and we believe that she tampered with the evidence, like the omnibus, by adding in adding in the blood as well as taking out some things inside. And so now we're kind of like we're we're in the middle of like we're this we're this guy's defense lawyer, but we know that dude, this guy is shady as fuck. So we're trying to prove right now that um um was it Barrett Barrick Van Zeeks is right in that evidence was tampered with during the recess. But yeah, dude, th yeah, th this trial has been fucking wild, dude. It's been like back and forth because yeah. I'm, like, pretty, pretty sure that at a certain... I mean, well, like, my, my character says it. That he wants to say one thing because he's the defense lawyer, but he knows, like, deep down that, you know, something fishy is going on. So, I have a feeling we're going to see this guy in the future. For sure. And yeah, he's getting all aggro that we're not defending him anymore. Because <laughs> we stand for the truth. I know, that wasn't really the best explanation, but yeah. We have to redo all this. Okay, okay. As a defense lawyer, it's my job to advocate for the defendant as best as I can, but still, I feel as though there's something even more important at stake here. There is no evidence to suggest that the defendant did as my learned friend suggests. However, in terms of having the opportunity to carry out the alleged tampering, there is one possibility. Oh! Good gracious! Explain yourself, Counsel. The plot thickens me thinks, yeah, dude, yeah, so we're like, we're in an awkward spot where, like, we're the defense lawyer, but, dude, this guy's, this guy's doing some shady shit, so, like, almost like we need to work together with the prosecution lawyer, Beric Van Zeeks, to, uh, to prove that he's right and the evidence was tampered with. Yes, there is. It seems my learned Nipponese friend has no intention of running from the deceit. Deceit. I'm sure everyone still remembers clearly the recess that we were forced to take. As a result, the smoke grenade fired by the witness currently in the stand, Miss Gina Lestrade. And I'm just gonna show like what happened during the recess. She came in. Well, I mean, we we didn't even see her, but yeah, she shot the smoke grenade. Be careful, Mr. Narhoto. Cover your face. Bailiff, don't let the accused escape. Secure the omnibus. I hereby call an emergency recess. Bailiff, ensure the defendant is in custody and clear the courtroom. So we're thinking during that time, the evidence was messed with. To favor the person we're defending, who seems like a bad guy. The courtroom was filled with smoke and everyone was thrown into confusion. All of us were made to leave this chamber. In that brief interval, under the veil of smoke and in, and in all the chaos, it could have been possible to steal inside the omnibus.
Is that the cutie? I know, right? Are you wise? What are you trying to pull? See, now he's getting all aggro and shit. What are you trying to pull? You, you rotten, feckless galger. Save again right here, just so we have a little bit further progress. Just in case I fuck up again. Feckless Gauger? You're supposed to be defending me! Tis a wicked plot! Tis a plot to undermine me, so it is! Objection! Uh, what? Whatever you think this is, it changes nothing. The facts are the same. After this courtroom was evacuated earlier as a result of the smoke grenade, a number of inconsistencies materialized in relation to the omnibus. Inconsistencies such as... To start with, the storage compartment underneath the rear passenger seat. When the police investigated the omnibus, this compartment was full of the driver's items. Secondly, we have the smear of blood on the edge of the skylight. As I have said, that was not present at the start of the trial this morning. It's still hanging out, Bray. Hmm. Unfortunately, Lord Van Zeeks, no one is able to corroborate your claims. It's true. When the omnibus was first wheeled out, both the storage compartment and the skylight were shut. Accordingly, I'm afraid to say we cannot establish with any certainty if this evidence is the result of tampering or not. Indeed, my lord. No doubt there was not a single person who saw it, saw fit to verify such things. What do you think? Sorry? About the Omnibus. Is there anything else unusual about the Omnibus? My lord. Yes, Counselor. There is one further inconsistency. A mark that surely could not have been present at the start of the trial. What? What in the devil's name are you going to say now? If if you, you to betray me, you little maggot, you better stop watching your back. Silence, McGilded. The court awaits the defense's clarification. Swinging it one way and then the other. I have no idea what's the truth and what's deception. What am I supposed to believe here? I shall have to ask you to elaborate, counsel. Okay, 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 okay. All right, we're here then. Where exactly is this alleged mark that you claim appeared at some point during the trial? So we can either choose this hand. I don't know, dude. Any ideas, chat? Where is this alleged mark that you claim appeared at some point during the trial? There's the blood on the floor. There's the handle of the seat. These, these paintings or these, these little, little advertisements. And then there's the blood. It wasn't the blood. McGilded? An accent for me would be Irish or Scottish. I don't know why. I'm probably just sleepy since it's 4 or 12 a.m. here. Oh, dude, Luis. It definitely is Scottish. It definitely is. Or, I mean, it, it's definitely Irish. Is this Phoenix right? But for, but for Brubs? Um, it takes place in the same... Um, it takes place in the same universe, Christo. Thanks for still hanging out, by the way, dude. Appreciate it, man. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Um, but it takes place way before. 
way before Phoenix Wright. Um, this is towards the end of the 18th century. But yeah, it is his ancestor. Door handle? No, you can't choose that. I enjoy you! Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate you still hanging out in the stream, dude. Like, I know chat, compared to other games, gets relatively quiet when I'm playing this. But, I mean, I get pretty into the game, you know what I mean? I'm not, like, I'm not, like, looking back at, back and forth at chat as often as, like, other games. So, I mean, I'm just, I'm just assuming, like, whoever's, like, tuning in, like, they're just, they're just lurking in, they're just watching, you know? It's like, I don't, I try not to kill the momentum, especially if there's, like, a nice back and forth, you know? I try to just keep, keep it going and then catch up, catch up with chat, like, later. But, yeah, I mean, I saved, so even if it's not whatever I choose, then I can always reload... Where exactly is this alleged mark that you claim appeared at some point during the trial? Alright, I'm gonna try this. Got it! If we consider that the victim fell through the skylight onto the floor of the cabin, we would certainly expect to find signs of blood where he landed. But as far as I recall, this blood stain on the cabin floor was not there when the omnibus was first brought into the courtroom. Lord! Yes, I do believe you're correct, Counsel. Hmm. Well said. Although, as advocate for the defense, one might say that was a very careless slip of the tongue. I believe that bloodstain on the floor is a decisive piece of evidence. But if the question is whether that evidence is genuine, or whether it was unlawfully fabricated by someone, I feel compelled to admit that there's at least a possibility that the evidence is fake. Oh shit. Let's go, let's go. This, this, this trial is over. Mr. McGilded? I've done everything I possibly can to cooperate with the court, but <laughs> tis all over now. But, but, you're, you're the defendant. Tis over. I tell ye! <laughs> Memory! Recollection! What people think they saw! Tis all a nonsense! Facts are what counts! And the fact is, that bloodstain is there! Now! Uh, uh, well... And over the course of this desperate trial, long and extremely drawn out as it had as extremely drawn out as it has been, that good for nothing reaper of the Bailey has failed to present any decisive evidence at all. I'm scandalized, so I am. I'd thought better of Lord Van Zeeks. Well, my lord. I must concur with the defendant. The unaffirmed recollections of an individual cannot stand as evidence. At this moment in time, the particular bloodstain in question is very much in existence. Cool. Now give me the money you agreed upon. I'm trying to use the power of my four eyes to see a scratch. What's that? You got it, bravo! I do shit, it's getting intense, bros. 
and in the absence of any crab and in the absence of any credible method by which to prove its alleged previous non-existence. I regret to say that it would be improper for this trial to continue. Your, Your Lordship can't be serious. Lord Van Zeeks, what is your position? <laughs> the prosecution, my lord, has no further witnesses or evidence to present. Very well. In that case, as I believe we have explored every possible avenue in this matter, I shall proceed to my adjudication. As a formality, I am of, a co I am of course obliged to confirm with the defense first. Uh, uh. What formality? As things stand at the moment, it would seem that Mr. McGilded will be found not guilty. <sighs> yes. Which would mean we've won. Is that really the right outcome here? Is it really all right for the trial to come to an end now? With all these unexplained inconsistencies? Counsel for the defense, your closing statement, please. Uh, uh. Yes, my lord. The defense believes. The defendant could be guilty. Something shady is going on, dude. I am here in this courtroom today to advocate for the defense of my client, Mr. McGilded. However, at this moment in time, I cannot, I cannot in all good conscience attest fully to the defendant's innocence. What are you saying, man? <sighs> Without any question, there is no conclusive evidence to prove that the defendant is guilty. However, there is also no conclusive evidence to prove that he is innocent. Good... Good gracious me! Order, order! This... This is unprecedented behavior, counsel. A defense lawyer calling the accused innocence into question. Are you of sound mind? <laughs> oh, it was a grand decision to appoint you as my lawyer, so it was. A grand decision. What? I must say, I didn't expect quite such an exciting spectacle at the end there, but still... Here, have this for your troubles. Uh, uh. Your job is done. Your job here is done, fella. And some fine work you done, so you have... What, what do you mean? Is just as the right honorable gentleman so succinctly put it afore, the trial cannot go on anymore. And your closing statement there was, uh, how did he put it now? Nothing more than a formality. 